Tomorrow marks 20 years since the September 11th attacks. Events are already underway across central Florida to remember the lives lost that day and the heroes who rushed in to help. Today, the Honor Guard held a wreath laying outside Orlando Police Headquarters, followed by a moment of silence. Congresswoman Val Demings was there for that. And prior to that, students, staff, and teachers held its annual 9-11 memorial tribute outside Dr. Phillips High School. News Six's Ezzy Castro takes us inside the ceremony. You can see hundreds of flags right here in front of Dr. Phillips High School. Today, students wanted to honor the heroes and those who died on September 11th. I think it's really important for us to keep those people in mind and to celebrate all the first responders that were able to show up to like September 11th when everything was happening. Dr. Phillips High School senior and JROTC member Nora Al Sayed wasn't even born when the September 11th attacks occurred. It wasn't until she was older that she learned from her teachers about what happened and those history lessons stuck with her ever since. I didn't really understand the depth of it until I got to middle school and we had a speaker that came out to actually speak to us about like their for experience like firsthand at the event and I think that's when it really hit me. Tomorrow will mark 20 years since America was attacked by terrorism. That event, to remember that event showed us how strong America is and how we all came together. Nearly 3,000 people were killed, among them firefighters, police officers, heroes. Our sense of being invulnerable was shattered when two aircraft crashed into the World Trade Centers in New York, another crashed into the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and a fourth crashed into a field in Pennsylvania. Orange County Under Sheriff Mark Canty spoke in front of students to remind them of the sacrifices made on that day. They didn't hesitate. They weren't looking to be heroes. They weren't looking for fame. They were fulfilling their calling. Their calling was to save and protect our community and they ran into those buildings unselfishly to save as many people as they could in Orlando as the Castro get in results news six